is Jerry Mitchell like here and before I start this presentation I'd like to thank Smith & Wesson for sending me these handguns free of charge along with the ammunition to do a show and tell for you guys so stick around let me show you what we got new in the box today we have a receipt we have a magazine we have a new polymer high capacity everyday carry pistol this is the uh, shield plus and it's in 30 super carry so we're going to talk a little bit about calibers here. When it goes to handguns, there's really nothing new under the sun. Kind of give you an idea. I've got the older shield here. This is one of the original ones. And you can see it's flagged. There's no ammunition on the table. Chamber flag here. Take the mag out. Give you an idea. That's empty. And we're going to empty this one out. Take the flag out. I'm going to stand up to do this one. All right. Flag is out. Okay. So what we have is very similar size if not exactly the same size pistol as the original so if you look at them side by side it would be very hard to see the differences on them the big difference is this original nine millimeter in its uh, first configuration was seven and one and this one with the standard magazine is 13 and one 14 shots same size package so what they had to do to do that Change the caliber, 30 caliber, super carry round. Right now it's being manufactured by Federal, but I think after it gets in the cycle for a while, you see the other gun manufacturers chime in with uh, super carry. So what we have, and 30 caliber, what's, what's interesting about 30 caliber in general, the first Luger, everybody knows what, the, what a Luger is, was chambered in 30 Luger. It was a 93, and 93 grain bullet at 1200 feet a second, and the super carry as we see it right here, is 100 grain doing over 1200. So, original Luger capacity was eight in the magazine. So even with the standard magazine, and you can see this is a lot smaller than any, any Luger pistol manufactured. You can have 13 in, in one, and with the extended mag, you actually have 16 in one, 17 shots, and still smaller package than the original 30 Luger. And it also has the flexibility of being polymer. And one of the advancements Smith & Wesson did to their uh, shield line was they have it cut now for an optic. This one came with night sights. It's cut for an optic. You can put uh, 17 rounds in your pocket pretty pretty easy with a really enhanced texturing on the frame and the face of the trigger. They went to a flat face trigger, but but they also made it a lot more crisp trigger pull. So you got all the food groups all in one little polymer package. So let's uh. Pick up these pistols and get them out of the way. And we're going to talk a little bit about ammunition. So the first Luger was 30 caliber, 93 grain at about 1,200 feet a second out of a four inch. This is federal ammunition. This is what I was setting with the gun. It's 100 grain, and they claim a velocity of 1,250 feet a second. So it surpasses the Luger in bullet weight and also velocity. And of course, I think they make, yeah, Federal makes a full metal jacket, same velocity, 100 grain, and it's also uh, 1,250 feet a second. Kind of interesting. But you have to realize, guys, let's, let's take a little show and tell on the round itself. What's interesting about this cartridge is that back in the day, Smith & Wesson's very first handguns were chambered for this. 22 short, a little seven shot single action pistol. So when you had this in your pocket, man, you was the guy. You had seven shots, single action, 22 short, black powder. Smith & Wesson bought the patent for the board through cylinder, which revolutionized handgun carry and also uh, concept. More rounds, easily fired. All right, let's get this out of the way, 22 short. Now let's go to 9 mil, which is probably the most common uh, handgun caliber, now pistol caliber, when it comes to semi-automatic pistols. And a standard load for this. This is a Hornady flex tip. One the ammunition I like to carry is 115 grain, and they show it at 1140 feet per second. Give you an idea what the cartridge looks like in comparison. And just you can see the super carry is a little longer, a little, little bit thinner, a little bit uh, more sectional density on this projectile. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up a chronograph, and we're going to shoot uh, the standard nine, and we're going to shoot super carry, and just kind of get a feel for it, and uh, shoot some targets of opportunity and see what it see how it plays out. Come on. All right, we're out on the range. We got a chrono set up. So I got the nine millimeter shield, same barrel, three and an eighth inches long. 
I've got the Hornady 115 flex tip and we're going to shoot a couple rounds on the chrono and see what it says. Here we go. 1095 1121 Let's do one more. And 1100. So thereabouts. Let's go ahead and uh, about 1100 you could say. Let me go ahead and put a few more rounds in it. And I'm going to shoot that soda can in the back. I've got a can of cheap diet drink. Nobody likes that. So. <laughs> so let's put a few more rounds in here. Let me see if I can put seven rounds in the gun. Seven in the mag. Let's put seven in the mag, one in the chamber. We'll see if we can hit that can on the first, first go around here. All right. That's one soda can. Here we go. Ah, uh, shot high. <laughs> Should have brought my shooting glasses. Here we go. All right. <laughs> that was pretty good. So I, <laughs> I didn't miss. That was a bad camera angle. All right. <laughs> I got six rounds in the gun. We're going to go off a timer. I've got a paper silhouette there. We'll shoot six rounds for a time and see what it looks like. Here we go. All right. Let's take a look. What I'm looking for is the split times, actual shots in between. So we we're running almost all exactly about 20.2, pretty controllable. So let's get the super carry up. Let me get another soda can up. I'm clear. I'm going to go down range for a second. Okay, it's super carry time, 30 super. So this is a 100 grain bullet. Uh, box says 1250 feet per second. One thing I really appreciate about the new shields is the texturing and you can really grasp this thing better than you can that shorter gun with the smooth sides and I've got the extended magazine so it's going to be easier to shoot. Anyway, let's, let's run a few through the chrono and see what this super carry is going to do here. Here we go. 1165. 1153. 1154. Velocity was spot on, guys. It was very consistent. So we were getting about 1100 with the 9 millimeter with a 115, and this 3 and an eighth inch barrel, we were doing 1150. Still pretty stepping out. So let's go ahead and shoot that soda can, and let's see if we can hit it. Yeah, soda didn't like it at all. All right. <laughs> what I'm noticing as a shooter is the grip in that longer magazine. Of course, it has a short magazine in the box, but uh, I like the texturing a lot, the face of the trigger. It's got a better trigger pull than that other shield. Let's go ahead and rattle that target a little bit. Here we go. Matter of fact, the shot's so easy, I locked it up. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. I hadn't had a chance to shoot that gun. One of the things I noticed, the trigger pull on this one is so much better than that other shield, I kind of locked it up. So I'm going to change up my, tr my finger position here and try it one more time. Same target. Here we go. And it shot so easy I saved one. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's take a look at what we were doing on the splits. Had an 18, a 16, a 16, an 18. So the gun was actually recovering quicker, and I don't know if that was the texturing or the trigger, but uh, if you take a look at the target, without, without my shooting glass, it was really hard to see the top of the blade, but I could keep them pretty much in the center of the target without any problem. So there you have it, guys, 30 uh, Super Carry. Is it, the th is it the modern 30 Luger, or is it better? You can get more in the gun. Check it out. Might want to get more. <laughs>